Good morning. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce Willie Nelson. Thank you very much. First of all, thank you all for being here this morning and uh, helping us kick off this farm aid, a number of um, 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 something. 23. 23, number 23. You'd have thought we'd have had it all worked out by now, wouldn't you? <laughs> but we don't. There's still a huge need for farm aid, and thank every one of you for being here and all the great soldiers back here who show up and help us every year for farm aid. So once again, we're going to try to uh, make a difference, and uh, we need your help. We need you to help us spread the word about the family farmer and how he can solve the problems that we're all going through right now. And as I've said before, I've been told while I was growing up that the farmer, agriculture, is the backbone of America, the backbone of our economy. And when the farmer went under, you saw what happened. Everything else, if the bottom rung of the economic ladder is agriculture and it falls in, everything else falls down. And that's where we are. So thank you for helping us uh, put the steps back together. And I'd like to introduce you to Carolyn Mugar, who without her, there would be no farm aid. That's not true. Thank you. Thank you. And what I'm going to say is it's thanks to the persistence of these four guys, which I call junkyard dogs, because they will not let go of this bone. They have been at this for 23 years, and it's because it's more important now than ever that family farmers are at the bedrock of our society. I also want to say that with us today um, is Francis Moore LaPay, Brenna Chase, and Dewan Grant, and also on the stage, and I hope if there's other artists that are here that I don't know about, I'm going to introduce the artists that I know are here. And as Willie points out, it's thanks to these artists that come. Everybody comes to Farm Aid. They play free. They pay for all their expenses. And we're very, very grateful every year that so many artists have played. Hundreds of artists have played Farm Aid. We have today joining us Daniel Evan, The Elms, Will Daly. Why don't you just wave when I, if you are up there? And Hi, Arla. Oh, good. I'm so sorry. And Danielle, I, I'm, I can't see behind me, but um, Will Daly, One Flew South, <laughs> Grace Potter and the Nocturnals, <laughs> Mo, and our dear, dear old friend Arlo Guthrie from Massachusetts. <laughs> Jamie Johnson, Jamie, you here? Nation Beat, uh, and Jacob Dillon. Are you? Is Jacob here? And our our dear dear friend David Amram, who I don't think has hey, missed a Farm Aid concert. Also, this year we decided to, we decided to get a, what we call a professional involved. We've got um, we've got NECN host Jim Browdy, who also has a show on any uh, ninety six point nine radio, and he's going to be the MC for the day. Carolyn, thank you so much. Thanks so much. After twenty three years on the road, Farm Aid is going to be welcomed home by a guy in a couple of seconds, and the decision was made to have a farmer. Welcome Farm Aid Home. This guy is not a farmer on the scale of many of you, but I, I think it's accurate to say he's a spice farmer on his land just south of Boston and in western Massachusetts. When he's not farming, he squeezes in a hell of a lot of governing. He was elected in November of 2006 the governor of the state of Massachusetts, Deval Patrick. Thank you very much, Jim. Thank you, everybody. So I... I want, to, uh, I want to thank all of the artists and the organizers and the sponsors and supporters and all of you for making Farm Aid so successful and in particular for bringing it home to New England. I was standing um, in the wings there just waiting to come out and I heard one guy go by and say, who's the suit? <laughs> I see I did not get the dress code memo 
but the suit is the governor of the Commonwealth, and as governor, I am thrilled to welcome you all to Massachusetts. Hey, can I step on your applause line for a second? I know at the center of your agenda are two issues that are at the center of the farm aid agenda, helping local farmers, uh, advancing clean energy initiatives. Could you talk for a minute about them, Governor? Well, a couple things I'll say about that. First of all, 80% of the farms in Massachusetts are family-owned farms. That's right. Farming is a very important part of our cultural heritage and our economy. And uh, we have been through uh, a number of initiatives, like the Dairy Farm uh, Preservation Act, which we passed this year, the, uh, uh, some $400 million that we've dedicated to preserving open space and agricultural land, and through initiatives around clean energy and biofuels and other alternatives, been doing everything we can to promote farming here in, in the Commonwealth. One other thing I'd say is that the locally grown movement has taken hold here in the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. We've had a record number of, uh, of new farm stands uh, uh, this year, uh, added to the number who have been here for a long, long time. And, uh, and it's become a part of the, of the culture and the community building that's happening in the Commonwealth, and I'm very proud of that. Governor Patrick, thanks so much for being here. Thank you. I should also say Governor Patrick had to do contortions with his schedule to be here today, and he is going to have to leave at some point in, during the press conference. So thank you, Governor, for being here. Those who know me, and a few of you do, know that my personal motto is borrowed from Alice Longworth Roosevelt, who once said, if you don't have anything good to say about anybody, come sit right next to me. <laughs> well, there are exceptions to that rule, and one of them is sitting right here. I've worked in and around nonprofits for virtually my whole life. And I have to say, uh, so many leaders in that sector do a lot of talking, but aren't so good at the walking. This woman, she's hating this, by the way. I think everybody knows this. <laughs> woman to my left has been a beacon in a sea of dim bulbs for a very long time. <laughs> I think family farmers out there would say they owe a huge debt of gratitude to her. I know she would say in her typical fashion, it's the reverse, the great Carolyn Mugar. Jim. I'm so sorry we invited you. <laughs> that being said, I'll try to keep this thing going. <laughs> right now, I think all of us feel that we're living in very fragile times. The health of our economy, our climate, and our bodies is at risk. None of these problems will be solved without family farmers. The good news is that thriving family farmers revitalize local economies. Family farmers are the cutting edge of the renewal e renewable energy. They are caring for the planet and producing good food. With their tenacity, ingenuity, and grit, family farmers are a model for the nation. What does this mean? We need more family farmers. Willie has been saying that since day one, since the day we started Farm Aid and we were here to save family farmers. Willie said we need a lot more farmers on the land. And the good news is also that Farm Aid does the work of putting family farmers on the land. It goes to you now. Well, that's it? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> you See? were looking at me like you were going to say I, my I've apology. said enough. 